Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on SDTM programming with R for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we will see how to implement key SDTM programming concepts using R. We will take a quick look at the SAS program for the same concept and then see in detail about the R program. Please note that the complete explanation of SAS program for this lesson is available in a separate playlist. I will leave the link for it in the description of this video. In this video, we will see how to create actual ARM variables in SDTM DM domain. So that is ARM C, actual ARM CD and act ARM CD and act, act ARM. So will be created as part of this lesson. So on the left hand side of my screen, you see the SAS program and on the right hand side of my screen, you see the R program for it. So let us take a look at the specification for this uh, on how to fetch actual ARM CD. So it says actual ARM is in this example will be identified using the content of the box from which the subject took the first non-zero dose. So we have a data set called box in which we have the box content information. So it says fetch the box ID of IP admin IP box ID of the earliest dose each subject of each subject by merging demog and IP admin data set at study and PT level. And then actual treatment is present in the value present in box content associated with each box number is present in box data set. Fetch box dot content associated with the box number of each subject into demog data set by merging process demog data set containing IP box ID and box data set based on the values present in the variable IP box ID and then kit ID of the box data set. And once we fetch the act alarm CD, so we are being asked to set it to active. So when act alarm CD is equal to active in all caps, and we are being asked to set it to placebo when act alarm CD is equal to PBO. So let us now take a look at the input data sets that we will be using for this. So here we have our demo data set, which has study, PT and some additional demographic related information. And then we have a second data set called IP admin, which contains the information of doses or the box IDs from which the subject took the medication on a particular visit. So here we have sub study, PT and at different visits, what is the date of their treatment and the quantity of the dose taken and the box from which they took a dose. So the requirement here is to identify the box used by the subject on their first or the earliest instance when sorted by date and then fetch the content from that box ID which is available in this data set called box. So we will be using the content kit ID from earliest kit ID from this data set and get the content of that box and then use it to populate our actam CD. So let us now jump into the SAS program. So let me zoom out a little. So let's see how we have achieved this using SAS program. So here we are creating uh, IPSTDT raw is a character variable. So in order to sort the dates appropriately, we are converting it into a numeric format using input function. And then we are also subsetting only those rows which has non-zero dose or dose greater than zero because we were being asked to use the contents or the rows only in which the content has been consumed by the subject. So if the content was not consumed, I think the data has it populated as zero. So we'll have to use only those rows in which content uh, IP quantity is greater than zero and then sort the subject, uh, sort the data set based on study, PT and IPSTDT such that the earliest record comes on top within each patient. And then we are subsetting that earliest record. So we will get the box ID of the uh, box ID for each subject from which they took the first dose. And then we'll have to use this box ID to fetch its content from the box data set. So what we have done here is we have processed IP admin, fetch that early, uh, earliest box ID into the demographics data set and then merge that data set with box data set based on kit ID of box versus IP box ID which we have fetched from my processed IP admin and then 
we are assigning the content value equivalent to actual arm cd and then populating act arm act arm based on the values present in act arm cd and then finally sorting it again based on sub study and pt and then keeping only the required variables so let us now jump to the r programming explanation so let us bring the r tidyverse program here on the left hand side of the screen and then also pull the intermediate data sets that are getting created from the r program here on the right hand side so we i am i have my input data for uh, this lesson in a file named this way and i am calling that program within this as pro, within this r program to have the input data sets created so this is equivalent to the percent include statement of sas so in a way that you can uh, call the content of another sas program in this sas program in this sas program so similarly it is in r so we you have this function called source which is equivalent to percent include statement so what we have done here in the next step is so we are we have seen that in sas program also that ipst dt raw was converted to numeric so here we are using ip admin and creating a new data set called ip01 and using ip admin we are adding some new variables to the existing data set so what are they so we are creating a variable called dtn so by converting ipst dt underscore raw to a date value so in sas we only have two date type two data types one is character and numeric but in r we also have additional data types like date date time etc so we are converting that into a numeric date value here and so the syntax is as date so similar to input function so when convert for to in order to convert a particular date value to numeric so we can make use of this as date function the first argument is the name of the input variable and then the second for argument so in input statement we specify the in format on how the date value is organized so the date value here is in this format which is 05 slash jn 2010 so d is for representing day in numeric on this component and if we have to specify that the month is available in the form of three character wide string so the syntax is that percent b and then in order to specify that four digit year is present we'll have to use this percent y and the delimiter in between those components are hyphen so we can specify that format in order to convert it into numeric and in an additional step i am converting that date to again iso 8601 format in a character variable fashion using format function so this actually converts the raw uh, this date value into uh, iso 8601 notation in a character variable dtn is of date type and dtc will be of character data type so we know that if the date value is in iso 8601 format we can use it as if it is a numeric variable in order to fetch the earliest or latest when sorted so we i am converting that into character format so similarly so here we are specifying that i want to convert it into four digit year followed by a hyphen followed by two character wide digit month and then followed by day so with a hyphen in between these two as well and then once let's take a look at ip01 on how this dtn and dt are created so here uh, this itself is a numeric variable uh, but the notation is appearing as already in the iso801 format but it's a uh, variable of date type dtc is of character date type so here i am not using the entire full extensive code for conversion of iso dtc uh, uh, to handle partial dates assuming that exposure data will not have partial dates so if we have partial dates we will still have to go back and use the code that we have used in one of the previous videos where we have extensively covered how to create raw date values to iso8601 format so in the next step what we are doing here is we are using the existing ip01 data set which we created 
in this code and then passing it onto the filter function and then filtering only those rows in which the quantity is greater than zero. So IP quantity raw in the input data set is a character variable. So in SAS, we have used input function to convert it into numeric. So we have a function called as numeric to convert the character values to numeric. So we have done that here and filtered only those rows where the dose is greater or the quantity is greater than zero. And then pass the resulting filter data set into a range function. So, and then we are sorting the dates uh, that data set based on study PT and DTC based on ascending date values. So when we sort it in ascending manner, the date with the least value will come on top within each subject. And then we are grouping the records with by study and PT. So, and then subsetting the first record within each group. So slice function is used for subsetting the records based on the record position. So as we have grouped the records, so the positions will be within each group. So this will be at study and PT level within a patient. So we are asking slice function to subset the first record. So when we slice, uh, when we subset the, this is kind of equivalent to if first dot PT here in SAS. And then on that first record of each patient, we are keeping only study PT and the box ID into this final data set IP02. So let us take a look at IP02. So here for all the subjects who took a dose, so we have fetched the earliest IP box ID. So the next step is to fetch the content of this IP box ID or uh, before that we'll have to uh, fetch this into demog or we can either directly fetch the content and then merge into demog or we can bring this number IP box ID number into demog and then fetch the content. I think here we have used the logic of fetching this IP box ID earliest IP box ID into demog data set first and then no I think huh. so here we are fetching the content of the IP box ID earliest IP box ID uh, into IP03 and then using that data set we are fetching the information into demo data set and then create actual arm CD and actual arm. So here into this IP02, which has the earliest IP box ID in IP03, we are joining it by uh, to the box data set based on IP box ID of IP02 and kit ID of box data set. So IP box ID of this data set with kit ID of box data set. So, and then we are fetching this content variable into IP03. So if you take a look at IP03 for, we will get the content of each of the earliest IP box ID used by the subject. So this is nothing but our ARM CD. So in the next step, what we have done is we have pulled this information into our demographic data set. So let's see how that has been done. So we are using demo data set and to it, we are left joining the IP03 data set, which means we'll have a record for all the subjects who are present in demog data set and fetching additional variables from IP03. So based on the study and PT match. And then we are using if then else to set it to character null if the content is uh, missing. So for example, what happens is for subject 1001, we do not have a record in IP03. So when we join using a left join, what happens is the value in content for the subject who do not have a record in IP03 would be set to NA. So NA is the missing value notation for uh, missing values in R. So it is not equivalent to character string null. So in the cases where the content is NA. So we are setting it to character null here. So if it is NA, so when this is true, this value would be assigned to actual arm CD. If this is false, the next parameter, the third arguments value would be used to populate actual arm CD. So this is kind of a simple if then else, if this is true, use the value from here and then else use the value from this condition or variable to the actual arm CD variable. And then we are populating actual arm CD based on act arm CD. So if it is PBO, we are assigning the text placebo to act arm, act arm variable. Otherwise, when it is active, so we are assigning active in prop case to act arm variable. And 
in the next step what we are doing here is we are using this dm01 data set sorting the data set based on study and pt and then in the next step uh, we are keeping only the required variable study pt ip box id actual arm cd and actual arm so this is how we can replicate or use the logic to fetch actual arm cd and actual arm using r program so let us quickly compare the output data set that is generated in SAS and in R. So here, this is my data set, which is generated using the SAS program, which I have shown in the beginning. And here on the right hand side, I have the same data set concept replicated using R program. So here we have eight records and then subjects are sorted from 1001 to 1008. So the sorting is also the same here. So let us take a quick look at the rows in which it is populated. So for the first three rows, we do not have actual arm populated in both the cases because the subject did not take any dose. And then we have active three placebos and active, active three placebos and active. So as the rows are uh, ordered in by PT, so when we look at this order, so these look the same. So this is how we have replicated actual arm CD and actual arm derivation using R. Thank you for watching and keep learning.